Greetings, Cyberdogs! This is Rent Dog coming at you from just outside a cave spider spawner in its Let's Play Minecraft 1.4 survival series. In the previous episode, we traveled via our new nether portal in the nether fortress straight into the ass of a dungeon, and we have now found ourselves in an abandoned mine shaft. And there is a spider spawner up in this business. And man, it is scary as jazz. We need to get up onto the second story here um, so that we can try and neutralize the spider spawner. And um, there also might be an enderman up here. So um, all round bad times <laughs> for us. And um, I'm going to try and get into the spider spawner via a different route, maybe a, a, a more s um, stealthier route. Of course, guys, in hard mode, if you die from poison, um, your life doesn't stop at zero. You actually just die. So this is some precarious business we've got going on up in this business. So uh, welcome, guys, <laughs> to this episode. And um, man, let's see if we can actually get this done. Um, whew, this is going to be intense. Okay, w let's try and isolate where the spawner is exactly. Okay, there it is. The spawner is right here. Um, so let's get some light, as much light as we can, up in this region. Where are the spiders, actually? Where are the freaking spiders? Let's break some of this webbage. Um, pour some water up in there. That normally does a good job of breaking webbage. But not this time. There we go. Sweet. Come, you spidery bastard. I'm gonna break the spawner. Bam! Oh, Lord. Ooh, damn. That was intense. I think there is actually another spider up in here, though. I can hear him hissing. There might actually be more spider spawners. There's usually more than one, actually, in my experience. Um, and there's a freaking ender butt somewhere around here also. Lord! Kill the spider webbage! Oh my goodness gracious, guys. <laughs> this is insane. Um, how freaking scary is this place? Just covered in spider webs everywhere. The sound of spiders hissing all up in here. And uh, I have no idea where they are, though. Um, I'm definitely not going down here. <laughs> let's leave that. Let's leave that just like that for now. Um... All right, let's see. What have we got up in here? There's a chest. Sweet. Right. There's definitely another spider spawner around here somewhere, though, guys. This is... Uh, and I'm actually stuck in webbage right now, which is not good. So let's just clear the webbage. Get to the chest. Um, in the previous episode, we actually got an enchanted book with in an infinity enchant, enchant. I have no idea what an infinity enchant does, but... Uh, man, it is. It sounds freaking sweet. Um, right, let's, let's get to this chest right up in here. Give us an it. Whoa, diamonds! Oh, that is epic. What? I've never found diamonds in a chest before. That is so sweet. Um, I think it's because in the new patch you get better stuff in in mineshaft chests. Um, which gives us a really good reason to come out here to these mine shafts. And there's another freaking chest! I found two diamonds in a chest, people! Oh my goodness, there is so much noise going on up in here, man. I am literally jazzing all over myself. Another diamond! Oh, this is sweet. This has been an absolutely epic mission. I'm just going to leave a torch up on top of that thing just to show that um, I've been here. What is going on here, man? Some weird light glitching going on up in here. Oh, what? Sweet! Oh man, this is so epic. Anyway guys, welcome back um, to this Let's Play Minecraft series with me, Rendog, man. I hope you guys are having a sweet ass 2013. If you are coming at me from somewhere in the future, um, hello. <laughs> hello from the past. Um, but it is now 2013, basically, and 
There is the ender butt right there, man. He is going to get his ass owned. I need his ender eyeballs. Enderman, it's you and me, baby. Die, you butt bandit. Bam! Bam! Oh, he didn't give me his eyeballs. Whoa, 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 whoa. I hear the scuttling sound of a freaking dangerous spider. No, 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 no. Oh, God. Oh, my goodness gracious. All right, there is another spider spawner up in there, guys. Let's see if we can isolate that bad boy and take it out. We actually get a, a butt ton of experience for doing that. So, man, how much damage does that poison do to us? Basically takes away half of our life. Okay, there is another spider spawner in there, guys. Um, oh, isn't that cute? Hey, dude. But it's wrong. Okay, we've been here already. But we didn't actually um, we didn't actually loot this this room properly. So let's get that done. Pick up some of the zern. Mm. All right. So guys, I want to see if we can isolate this spider spawner over here. And then what I want to do is see if we can head towards the mole hole and see what we can discover. No, 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 no. What? He's in the ground. I can't hit him. Is the other one up here? Is it above us? Is that, is that what is going on up in here? Man, there is a lot of coal. This has been an epic coal loot. This, man, this freaking pickaxe is such a butthole of a pickaxe. It is so weak. It's horrible. Okay, so it is up here, actually. Look at that, man. There's two of them buttholes. Three of them? Man, I wish I had a grenade right now. That'd be sweet. I think maybe these are from the previous spawner, maybe. Come on, you butt bandits! What in the jazz is going on here, man? Um, <laughs> this is so weird. These things are, are freaking out up in here, man. You know what I think I'm going to do? I think I'm just going to... Um, I think I'm just going to lock them into a room and forget that this ever happened. You guys can stay in there, man. I have no idea what you're doing, but I don't want any any business. I don't want any part of it. Um, it's definitely some weird-ass spider jazz. And um, I'm not into weird-ass spider jazz. So you guys have fun. Um, good luck <laughs> with your lives. Hopefully, you will stay there for eternity and die. And pick up my arrows. Sweet Raylidge. Oh man, this is excellent. This is most. This has been a most lucrative looting mission. Um, although I have to say, I'm kind of worried now because I don't think we're going to be able to find our way back to the original portal. Oh, we should have actually left a waypoint, um, which is my bad. Is that some gold over there? What up, butthole? Eat my sword. Creeper. Ow. Man, this mine shop is so freaking massive. Wait, isn't this the original? Ah, I'm under siege. Under siege. Man, is there a skeleton spawner up in here? Oh God! Oh Lord! I'm under siege! Ooh, damn! All right, let's have a look. Where the hell are we? <laughs> Man, that was intense. That, I mean, that <laughs> was getting attacked from all freaking angles up in there. Man, damn! All right, guys. Um, I've just realized that we may have just noobed out. Um, not leaving a waypoint at the original um, the original portal is might come back to bite us in the butthole. I mean, I think that before we go on an adventure, we need to get back to the mole hole, right? And drop off all of this loot because this is an intense amount of loot that we've got going on up in here. And I, um, I'm, I'm starting to get into that panic mode where I feel that we may lose all of this loot. And um, 
there's no ways we can get back to the mole hole from here on the overland. It's 2,000 freaking meters away, man. There's no ways we're going to be able to walk all the way to the mole hole from here. So I think what I'm going to have to try and do is take a very close look at the map now. Um, as you can see, we are actually totally out of space. Everything we have in our inventory, we, we want. And um, I suppose we can get rid of a, a little bit of cobblestone. And I hope I haven't missed any diamonds. Although we did pick up three diamonds from the chests, which is so sweet. Right, guys. Um, I'm actually hitting uh, serious panic mode now. I'm starting to sweat. And uh, usually when I start to sweat in Minecraft, it's, it's usually a sign to get the hell back home. Um, so what I'm going to try and do... Oh, but there's so much more to explore. Oh, look at this. Okay, let's just check out what's going on up in here. Okay, nothing. <laughs> right. Let's take a good look at this map. Where was the original... The original... The, te the, the temple is north, I think, right? So, oh, there's our original strip mine, right? So what I'm going to do is actually strip all the way back to our original strip mine. And then that should be... Then we should definitely be able to get back to um, our original portal. Guys, so I tell you what, man. I'm going to get stripping and um, we're going to go all the way back to the original portal. Get back to the mole hole um, and drop off all of our loot and what the, what the jazz and then we will be back we'll come back to this mine shaft i think there's still a lot of uh, exploring to be done in the mine shaft but i also want to start heading back toward the mole hole from this location in the overland because we have just generated some brand new regions and brand new chunks and i want to see if we can find some of the new sweet ass stuff in minecraft that we haven't found yet um what the hell Let's get rid of this freaking obsidian, man. We don't need this obsidian. Anyway, guys, I'll see you on the other side of this kaplam! Kaplam! Alright, guys, we are back, and check at this, man. This strip actually brought us straight back to the portal. How sweet is that, man? That was, that is, that was freaking sweet. So now we actually have um, a direct line to the, the part of the, the mine shop that we haven't explored yet. So we can still do a whole butt-ton of exploration up in there so that is sweet man so back to the nether we go guys let's try oh what the hell dude you're in the wrong freaking dimension buddy freaking butt bandit um <laughs> right let's get this back to surface oh never mind <laughs> all right guys back to the mole hole we go with all of our loots look how much stuff we got man we got a ridiculous amount of redstone a ridiculous amount of coal diamonds uh, a good amount of rails, we got a good amount of gold, 22 gold, a whole bunch of mossy cobblestone, a whole bunch of urn, and uh, this has been a very lucrative adventure for us, man. Very sweet. I am very, very happy with this. Um, right, sprint! Let's get all the way back home, people, without dying! Alright guys, I tell you what man, I'm going to make this journey through the nether to get back to the mole hole. And when we get there, I will see you on the other side of this kaplooey. Kaplooey! Ooh, a gold nugget. Sweet. Uh, hmm. I need everything except a spade. <laughs> Sweet. Alright guys, I'll see you on the other side of this kaplooey. Kaplooey! We are gathered here today to mourn the loss of Batty. Who died like a noob in lava. May her soul rest in pieces. <laughs> hey guys, this is Randog. I'm back, man. Back from the freaking nether and back at the mole hole. Quickly popped over to the graveyard to make the gravestone for Batty, who died like a noob in lava. Uh, fly, Batty, fly. Nothing will hold you back now. Oh, God, the tears. <laughs> Sweet. Anyway, guys, you can see um, I actually extended the graveyard quite uh, a lot just before Season 2 uh, in anticipation of me dying a lot. But so far, we haven't had to really use it, which is sweet. Um, but this is the Season 2 graveyard over here, as you can see. And we've already got Batty in there. So, oh, Batty, I loved you. But uh, you've respawned, which is good. And uh, we'll be back to adventuring together real, real soon. Um, right, I just want to fix this gravestone, actually. I don't don't like where the slab is. There we go. That's better. Nice. All right, guys. Back to the mole hole we go. Um, let's get some of our loot back inside. Man, the mole hole is looking sweet from this angle. Grand mole hole station still looking a little bit sweet. Um, man, I, I should do something on this wall, actually. 
And uh, guys, what I've just realized also while I was heading back home is that my equipment is absolutely trashed, man. Look at that. My uh, everything is in the red. Man, this is crazy. All my diamond loot is basically broken, um, which just uh, just sucks so much, man. So um, we're going to have to be doing a whole bunch of repair work. But we also now have the opportunity to repair Terra, which is um, really good news. Let's put down the unrefined urn, the unrefined gold, and all the coal that we've got. Damn, that is a lot of coal, man. Sweet. Um, uh, but now we can actually try and repair Terra. Um, and take Terra on our next adventure, I think. Which is what I want to be doing. Um, right. Where is the... Where do we put the rails? Man, I have forgotten where everything goes. It's been so long since I've been in the mole hole, man. Damn, it feels like forever. Here we go. This is where all the, the redstone and stuff goes. Well, we've got a nice amount of railage going on up in here, which is sweet. And, uh... Lapis goes here. Gold nuggets can go here too. Um, we still have a whole bunch of rare drops and stuff also to deal with. Oh god, there's just so much there's so much rubbish. I have so much rubbish. Um, we've got our melon, which is sweet. In fact, I'm gonna eat some melon right now. Bam! Sweet! Alright, I'm I'm not gonna use this in infinity enchant book just yet. Um, until I know exactly what it does. Hopefully it does something sweet, but it, man, this is, this is not looking good. I don't know, how, we're not going to be able to go on, an, on another adventure, I think. Um, where is Terra? There you are. Right, let's see if we can actually repair Terra. Um, there's another diamond pickaxe. I mean, we could try use this diamond chest plate to repair our, our current chest plate, but that's, I don't know if that's going to be the best way to repair our stuff. Let's see if I can find some sticks. Here we go. This is what I'm looking for. Alright. So, what I want to do is make another diamond, a, a brand new diamond pickaxe with the diamonds that we found on our last adventure. And then repair Terra with it. I mean, I, uh, the last time I checked it out, it, it said that it was going to take 30 levels to repair Terra with a new pickaxe. So, hopefully that still remains the case. Um, let's have a look. Terra, brand new pickaxe, 32... 32 Man, that is a little bit more expensive. Luckily the butthole has been delivering I can hear that it is full and we are very close to level 32. So let's go and clear out the butthole And that should give us enough levels to fix Terra at last man It has been freaking ages since Terra has been working at full capacity Die butt bandits Bam! Level 32. Sweet. So let's go and repair Terra. Now, I think, guys, that we're going to have to go on our next adventure using iron um, leggings, which is mm, precarious to say the least. Um, but guys, seriously, the, the, look, look at my diamond armor, man. My diamond armor is literally, it's not going to make it. It is not going to make an epic adventure. Um, so let's repair this bad boy. Terra back up to working condition. Excellent. That is so sweet. I'm so happy to have Terra back in my hands, man. Um, this this efficiency pickaxe is good, but damn, does it take a long ass time. Hey, doggies, I got some rotten flesh for you. Mm. Bam. I know you like that. Mm. <laughs> right. Let's drop off some of this other loot. Now, guys, the plan is to head back to um, the place that we were at right just before we came here. Um, so we're going to head back into the nether, go through that the new nether portal, and then pop up back in the dungeon. And then we are going to um, going to head towards the mole hole via the overland, right? So that is the plan. So um, we're going to see what we can find in the overland. We're looking for jungle temples. We're looking for any of the new stuff in Minecraft that we haven't actually found yet. Um, <laughs> so, you know... That is our freaking mission for now, guys. And let me tell you, it is going to be freaking sweet. Hopefully, we're going to find some really, really epic, epic loots. Um, and I think we are ready to go, actually. But I do want to... I, I really think that I'm going to... I'm, I'm not going to take this diamond armor. Instead, I'm going to take... Um, I'm going to make some fresh iron armor. We're going to leave the, di the, the diamond armor here. Because we just don't want to lose it, man. 
You know what I'm saying? So let's take all this jazz off. Drop off everything in here. And... Oh, that, that'll actually make a, 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 a... And so will that. And so will that. So sweet. We're not even going to have to craft this jazz. Sweet. Okay, that's not entirely fresh. And neither is that. So... There's some fresh leggings, though. Sweet. Man, there are some diamond boots in there. Oh, I, <laughs> I put them in there. Man, I'm losing my freaking mind, guys. We've been on such an epic adventure that um, I'm starting to not be able to think properly. <laughs> so I tell you what, guys. We are going to leave the episode here. And, uh, man, it has been freaking epic. Seriously, I have enjoyed the last two episodes immensely. And I cannot wait to get back into that freaking nether portal um and to start heading in uh, i think it was a southeasterly direction hopefully we're going to find some epic epic freaking loops guys but this has been rendog playing minecraft 1.4 i'm here chilling with my doggies jock rorschach and fido and we will all see you in the next episode where we are hopefully going to find something freaking sweet if you enjoyed this episode guys you know what to do hit that freaking like button if you haven't subscribed yet hit that subscribe button or this arrow goes straight up your ass kaplam <laughs> guys this has been rendog playing minecraft we'll see you in the next episode goodbye